Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket, and today's video we are going to be sharing 10 powerful features for the S Pen on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. These features, tips and tricks are going to make sure to enhance the experience of using your S24 Ultra. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about has to do with annotating and signing PDF documents. So basically, once you get the PDF, you download that to your device. Once you do that, all you do is you go to Samsung Notes application, that's going to be pre-installed with all S24 Ultras. And then grab your S Pen and tap on this little icon that says PDF Plus. So when you tap on it, this is going to allow you to import a PDF file. So in my case, I have a bunch of files in my downloads folder. I'm going to go right there. And you can see I'm going to use this sample contract as an example. So I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to say done. And that's going to import that PDF file into the Samsung Notes application. Now take a look at this. I can zoom in, zoom out. So let's say you just want to annotate stuff on a document. All you do is, or fill the document, all you do is tap one of these things. This one is going to be for annotation, as you can see. Pick a color, pick a size, whatever, and you can start to annotate, all right? Now the other thing is, if you want to fill something in, you just pick a pen. So let's just pick this pen right here, make it a little bit smaller, okay? And let's do black. And then I'm going to X this out, and you can start to fill in the blanks, whatever. And then, of course, many times we just have to sign a document. So if you have to sign a document, you just go to the sign area and do the same thing. Over here it says consultant by, again, I choose the pen that I want, color, size, whatever you need, and you simply sign the document and print your name, okay? So that's all going to be up to you, but that's how easy it is to annotate and sign documents with your S Pen. Now, once you're done with the document, simply make sure to tap this button and then save the file as a PDF file so it can send this to somebody that is requesting it. So I can save this as a PDF file or all these other options, but I would do PDF file. You just pick a spot and then you just attach it to an email and off it goes. So fantastic productivity tool. Now the next feature I want to talk about has to do with your calendar. So what you want to do is you want to launch your calendar application. There's going to be two ways to get this done. First I'm going to show you the regular way. So you launch the calendar application. On the top you're going to see a button that says write. So what you do is you tap this with your S Pen and it's going to activate the writing mode where you can actually start writing on your calendar and start taking notes. And of course obviously this is going to be too small to take detailed notes so you are able to zoom in up to 400 times into any date and then you can take notes on it okay and you can also change the format of the pen so at the bottom I can tap over here and make the format a little bit thinner change the color for different events maybe okay and I can write as you can see and I can do this anywhere I want. I can move this around with one finger, as you can see. And I can zoom in by pinching in and out. So I can write my notes right here, blah, 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 whatever you want. Now, the best part is when you save this, it actually gets saved in your calendar, as you just saw. Now, when I exit, let me kill that application. And if I go back into the calendar application, you can see I can, in fact, see the notes that I took on the calendar app. All right, the next way to get this done is by using the Air Command menu. I like this one better. It's just quicker. You pull the pen out, you tap on the button, brings up the Air Command menu, and you simply go on to write on calendar. So if you're in a rush, you just tap this guy, you pinch in, you take your quick note, you tap on save, and you're good to go. Now, to make this work, you have to activate this. So when I tap this button, you can see it brings up the Air Command menu. So let's go inside there and add this feature to make sure you actually have it when you tap the button, all right? So go to the settings and then scroll down and go to advanced features right here. Then go to S Pen and then go to Air Command right here and you are gonna see right here we have the Air Command shortcuts. By the way, just make sure this one is enabled as well. Open Air Command with the pen button which is right here. But anyway, go to shortcuts and make sure the right on calendar shortcut is in fact on this column right here, okay? So if I take this off, 
you'll see it's going to populate under S Pen Features area. So if I tap on it, it gets added to this column, which is the active column. Now, after you add it, you can press and hold and you can bring it to the top, okay? So now I have that in my active column all the way on the top. So when I do click the button, it is gonna bring right on calendar right here and I can access that right away. Fantastic, let's move on. All right, the next feature has to do with the S Pen right here. So basically it's a very expensive little product. I think it's like $40, $50 if you lose it and you wanna get a replacement. So let's make sure you never lose it in the first place. So again, go to the settings and scroll down and go to advanced features and go into the S Pen. Once you're here, scroll down and go to more S Pen settings and make sure you enable this option. So this says warn if the S Pen is left behind. So when you enable this, and if I leave this S Pen right here on the table in a coffee shop and I take the phone and I leave, the first thing that's gonna happen is the phone is going to beep and it's gonna give you a notification saying, hey, you forgot your S Pen, go get it. So that's number one. Number two, let's say you did lose it and you walked away to your house, at least over here, it's gonna give you a hint about the last removed date and time. Unfortunately, it cannot show you the location, but at least you get the date and the time so you can approximate where you were at that given time and backtrack that way. But the big thing is, I want you guys to just make sure you test this out once. Just put this on the table, Enable the feature, walk away. Go to the next room, upstairs, downstairs. Hear the prompt so you're used to it. So if it happens outside of your house, you know that that's what happened. All right, let's move on. So I'm gonna go to my notes application right over here, uh, notes application, and I'm just gonna go uh, create a brand new note. Now, one of the best things with this uh, phone, obvious with the pen, is that you can take notes. So activate note taking by tapping here. Now I can start writing. And basically, if you are a student, a teacher, engineer, contractor, whatever you are, you might wanna take some precise sketches. But normally, when you draw like a circle, it remains like this. Or if you draw a triangle or an arrow, you can see these are very unprofessional and dirty looking. So what you can do is, let me just create a new page. At the bottom here in the bar, you scroll over, and you tap on this icon right here. It says auto fix shapes. If you tap this guy, now when I draw a circle, look at what happens to that circle. It becomes a perfect circle. Triangle, same thing, all right? Arrow, same thing. So I can create these powerful uh, flow charts, or if I'm in a math class, I can do all kinds of things. And you can see it's very nice. And the good news is every time you create a shape, you can access that individual shape, okay? So you can see, I can take that shape away. I can tap this guy, I can take that shape away. So I can rearrange it to make it perfect. Or, just another example, if you want three exactly same shapes, you tap on a shape, you copy, and you simply paste. Look at this, press and hold, paste. Now I have shapes of the same size that I can create precise diagrams from. Okay, so every little thing here is customizable, as you can see, make it small, big, move it around, cut, copy, paste, fantastic, guys. You can use this to take some amazing notes. Let's move on. Now, while we are in the subject of taking notes, one more thing you can do that's amazing. You can do this without the S Pen. S Pen is just there to draw and sketch, but if you go into a any note, you can add images to that note. Okay, so here's a note, and let's say I want like a reference image, I can simply tap on plus, and I can add a whole bunch of things, a voice recording, audio file, whatever, but I'm gonna do an image, so that allows you to go to your gallery, okay? And I'm just gonna put this image of myself right here, tap on done, now I have that image in there as a reference, I can move this around, as you can see, no problem, okay? It'll go anywhere, and the good thing is with that image, using the S, but I can get really precise, I can make it bigger, larger, smaller, and I can even tap over here and crop an image, okay? So let's tap this again, tap on crop, and look at this, as you can see, okay? 
And then once it's cropped, I can move that around, no problem, and also resize it or whatever. So note taking can be amazing on this phone with the notes application. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about has to do with being able to unlock your phone with the actual S Pen. So if your phone is unlocked like, like this, by pressing this button, you can actually unlock the phone. So let me show you how to set that up. So go to the settings, go over to advanced features right here, go to S Pen, scroll down a little bit, go to more S Pen settings, and then enable S Pen Unlock. So when you enable this for the first time, it is gonna ask you to put in your current pin number. I'm gonna do it in mine right now. And then what it's gonna ask you to do is first just lock the phone. So right now the phone is locked. Now you can press the button and it's gonna ask you just one more time to put in your pin number. And now you're all set. Now look at this. If the phone is turned off, I wanna unlock it, I press the button. And it's just gonna unlock it. Boom. Okay, so this is gonna be your key, so make sure you don't give it to anybody else. Uh, nobody can unlock it from here, okay? But you can use this as a key to unlock your S Pen. Tap the button, unlocks the phone. Oops, there we go. Should be close to it, by the way. It's very smart. And then go to the settings, go to advanced features right here, S Pen, more S Pen settings, so make sure that's enabled. Now, if you ever get sick of it and you wanna disable it, just tap over here. It's gonna ask you to put your pin number again, then it's gonna be deactive. You're gonna be back to business as usual. All right, the next feature I wanna talk about has to do with the pop-up note feature. So basically, you tap the button right here, double tap on the screen, brings up a note, and you can quickly take a note, jot it down, you can X it out, or my favorite, you can put it to the side for later, okay? So if you're working on a project, you can keep bringing this up, adding your notes, and then tapping this, and making this small, and put it anywhere on the screen. Now make sure this is enabled. Again, you wanna be in advanced features, okay? Go to S Pen at the bottom, make sure quick notes is enabled. It's a powerful feature. Now once you are done with this, and you X it out, it gets saved into your Samsung Notes application. And here's a related feature. If the phone is turned off, whether you have the always on display or not, just make sure it's turned off. It's not in the lock screen like this. So it's like this. All you do is bring the pen close to the screen, press the button, and that's gonna bring up the screen off memo. And again, you can jot down notes on the go without even having to unlock your smartphone, okay? So that's a great feature. So take down a quick contact information. If you're a contractor, make take some measurements. Or if you're a homeowner, you're doing something in the house, take some quick notes and then go to Home Depot, whatever, okay? But that's the screen off memo for quick note taking as opposed to the other one that you can also use, the pop-up one, but this is better if you're working. If you're doing something on the internet and you're taking notes based on that, you can use this little window as well. By the way, this window can always, always be maximized so you can actually take notes even with more precision with a larger canvas. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.